Hey everyone, we're here on Next Island and I thought we would uh, work up our Screecher Codex a little bit. So, we came out here to a little bit north of Riverside here is uh, the Screecher Nest, which is a wave event for, well, Screechers. Um, and they'll just spawn down here in this little area. We'll get mobbed a little bit. We'll see what maturity they are. I expect mid-maturity-ish. Alpha zone, maybe. Um, and But we'll just see how hard they hit. And if they hit too hard, we'll switch to the really good armor for this. Um, I believe it's only about 7, 8 waves or so. Oh, they spawn right on top of us, too. So we're going to move to the edge. Oh, no, we don't want to be in. The, we wanna, don't want to leave. Let's get in here. These are young ones. And so this is nice. Well, it's these young ones and small maturity. We'll just keep using this LR20. Um, and as they kind of peak up a little bit, we'll switch up to the 30 maybe. But it doesn't look like we're going to need to really switch to the good armor. At least for a little while. And I know these uh, Screechers drop a few different crystals that are used in um, some of the blueprints we're trying to track down. Plus, we'll get some fragments. I think it's the males drop the Nova, the females drop the Blazer, maybe? But I kind of like to post up on the edge and clear the first little area. Because then we can kind of start pulling them in and get them one by one. And the codex is going up pretty fast, even for the young ones. They do path a little bit, so occasionally you'll get a one that act, walks by and aggro's on you a little bit. But I think it's that citrine is the one we kind of wanted for one of the dailies or something. In any event, we'll see what we get here. And we'll just stockpile as many goodies as we can. We also have to kill fairly quickly. Um, there is a time limit on the wave events. And so hopefully we'll be able to solo through enough of these fast enough. That it doesn't end the event on us. And if we're close and it ends, we know that we need to kind of upgrade our weapon a little bit.
I want to say that Damborite crystal is also something that I was trying to collect at one point. Or something we were getting a bunch of, I'm not sure. But it's we're getting low value on it, so... I know, we can just kind of look at the markup probably, huh? Eh, it's not bad. These guys look like giant toucan. Like with their little stubby wings. Like a toucan dinosaur. But they don't do very much damage, even all the way up to the providers and whatnot. Um, we're just using the pixie armor. Let me... I stand corrected. We're using pixie armor, but I have two A plates in most of the slots. Now with... Uh, that we've upgraded and got those Imperium officer plates onto the uh, Mayhem armor. But I don't think the two-way plates adds much damage protection from screechers. I could be wrong, though. All right, that wrapped up round one. Post it up in the corner here. We'll start round two and see how it goes. I imagine the maturities will still be kind of low in round two. Also appears to all be males so far as well. Ooh, that was a nice one. 10 ped, 11 ped. We are closing in on the, the Codex 2. Kind of excited about that. It's a rank 5, so that's probably like an, an evade skill or something, I think. Um, unless it has a special skill, sometimes they offer a nice odd odd man out skill, I'll call it, like a zoology or a biology or some looter skill you don't see all the time. I'm not real sure about that Angelite crystal. Uh, it looks like it doesn't really have much markup or doesn't sell in the market at all, honestly. And so that's probably just some trade terminal fodder. The other stuff had some reasonable markup, like 115% for that Damborite and that... I don't know about the Citrine, it's pretty common. Probably low markup. 105, that's not horrible. And so, I wonder at what point, probably like the next round, I imagine we'll get less youngs and they'll start amping up the maturity a little bit. I think it said it was only a eight round uh, wave event. So, 
it's gonna have to wrap it up or it's gonna be low level the whole way. I mean, there's always, after it's through so many levels, it starts to run out of options to really kind of boost it up. Also, we got our little codex, so let's see what it is. So we can get a bunch of evade, or we can get biology or zoology. Oh, I think we're going to go zoology. Um, and the reason we selected zoology is because it's a looter skill. And one of the harder ones to work up. Uh, traditionally, we have to go do a bunch of tree cutting to see any sort of gains on that one. Same with that biology, and so that's why it was a toss-up. Also, that's what I was talking about with the odd man out skills. And why normally we would take the evade, but in this case, because biology and zoology were an option, it was literally which one of those that we think we needed more. And we're still getting about a half a percent per kill on like the providers and whatnot. We'll see what this young gives us. Yeah, still about half a percent. And so, I mean, that's only like a couple hundred kills for the next rank. And we're getting a pretty good grouping of uh, Nova Fragments while we're out here today. Um, we'll probably have to hang on to those and take those back to Calypso at some point. Oh, since we love the wave event, let's get back in there. Oh, here comes his friend. Yeah, it looks like we've only got a couple left for this wave. Oh, that was a nice one. Now the question is, where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Alright, we're on to wave three here. And I kind of like the other area we did the uh, screechers in before, but it turns out that they had removed that rack boss and so we were never going to get him but the high maturities was real nice out there i just thought we would check out this wave event today because it'd be a little different kind of interesting oh still some youngs we're on wave three still getting um kind of the bottom maturity zone youngs some matures Some olds, it looks like. I 
Yep. At the beginning of the wave, you can kind of get swarmed a little bit. I'm a little worried about this one that appears to only have half a body. As long as he keeps shooting him, we're good. Sometimes the hitbox disappears on mobs like that. Which can kind of put you in a bad spot. Luckily that didn't happen to us there. We just got swarmed a little bit by all the little toucans here. So maybe a good thing it's still... Kind of the low level stuff. If they hit harder, we for sure would have to bust out some healing and stuff. And we're making good progress on this codex. About one sixth of the way through already. And then we'll slowly regenerate up on the other ones that were taken one on one. Since they don't do very much damage on an individual basis. And they kind of got a little bit of an auto pull as they kind of wander over. They tend to aggro a little bit. Or get close enough to aggro, I guess is a better way of saying it. Oh, there's a little bit of loot lag there. That one I just haven't looted yet. Oh. His friend aggroed right as he got to us. There's a bunch of them around the base of the tree, it looks like. So I think we want to take this one out first. Yeah, I think there's only about six left or so for this round.
Ah, uh, there's the next one. I kind of feel like they're hiding from us. It says we've circled this area like two, three times now. There he is. Plus, I kind of wish this whole little cauldron area was the wave event, instead of getting notified that we've left the event like three, four times. But here we are, wave four. I think we got a little better position this time. Oh, now we're getting some serious ones though, prowlers. Still only hitting for like five damage, but they're hitting a lot more often. Oh, we're getting swarmed a little bit. Might be throwing down some heals before too long. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's throw some heals down our way. I think that ought to do us for a little bit. And that's just that uh, first aid pack from Cyrene. Is all we were using there. Well, they've definitely upgraded the maturity for us a little bit. Which is nice, you kind of expect it to get harder as it goes a little bit. I don't know, how, that guy went unreachable, so we'll let him heal a little bit and we'll get back to him in a minute. And this wave is kind of nice for a few reasons. One, it's so close to a teleporter. You can see the blue dot on our radar for the Riverside teleporter. And so you can just teleport here, run north for like five seconds, and boom, you're at the wave event. But then these guys drop some okay stuff. Um, the, a couple of the crystals are used in crafting and whatnot. I don't know too much about, um, Next Island loot, like what it's used in, and what's good and what's not. That's why we're always having to check the markup and stuff, so I can kind of take an educated guess. Now, some of the stuff I know we needed, like, I believe this shrine. It's literally used in one of the crafting runs I want to do at some point. I'll have to remember which one. I have it written down somewhere.
He went invisible on us. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And we're making really good time on that uh, codex. Which always makes me happy. Stats and skills. Skills and stats. Definitely hard to go wrong there. Oh, that was a nice one. 17 ped. And it said no boss, and I kind of wish they would fix that on these some of these ones that are no boss. Like, it doesn't have to be a super hard boss, but... Just having something would be really nice at the end to kind of like culminate the grand finale, so to speak. It's still a really nice place to codex, though, even without that. We are path in our way this time instead of around the corner to hide from us. Oh, there's a few on the other side, it looks like. All right, way five in about 20 seconds or so. Oh, that was a fast 20 seconds. We're going to get swarmed for a second, for sure. Now we're going to go ahead and switch to a little bit higher DPS. Well, they're hitting me kind of hard there.
All right, let's get a little healing in here. Because I was starting to look a little rough. Still getting swarmed a bunch. And they've dropped my hit points significantly again. Back to the healing chip. Luckily I brought this healing chip. I feel like they might be overwhelming to that uh, first aid pack we have. It's pretty eco, but it's still uh, very much a heal over time and not very fast. And we'll have to check up on our armor after this. They're kind of seem to kind of be ripping through it pretty fast, so I suspect we're slightly damaged in that regard. All right, well, this is definitely more of a challenge. How I should... Which is good, since we're kind of further into the uh, wave event. But we definitely just got mobbed by like almost the entire wave. Like, there's not so much left that's not on us attacking at this time. There's going to be some over there, but this was literally 40-50% of it all in a single swathing. They're still aggroing on us. Sorry, we've definitely thinned the herd here. Oh. We're definitely going to have to heal here soon, too. I notice when we get a bunch of hairspray. Yeah, these guys really dropped the hairspray. It's got okay markup. But definitely not very many left now.
Yeah, like four left, it looks like. Oh, that was a nice one. 12 pad. No, 14. 14 pad. He keeps running from us. Which I kind of understand. We have been doing really good at killing his kind. Oh, this was maybe not the best spot to stand. So, all right, we're going to get this uh, over with quickly, I guess. We should be on auto pull for a second. Yep, that's what I mean by auto pull. Should just be getting one after the other as they kind of path around us. Oh, nice. Those basic metal extractors have good markup as well. Yeah. And again, we're making pretty good progress on that codex. We're about four-fifths of the way through um, that rank after getting that uh, nice zoology skill up. Oh, there's a nice amount this time around. And luckily, they didn't j all jump us right out the gate. We we're kind of able to stage it a little better this time, it looks like. Which is good. It'll help uh, preserve our healing items a little bit. About time to heal again, though. I 
I don't think the tier one component is worth very much. Yeah, it's pretty low markup. Not horrible though. Um, it's when you get into the two, threes, and fours, I think, is where it, they start really ha starting to have a little bit of markup. Uh, here we go back with the auto pulling. We're about to be back with the healing. Ooh, that was a nice one. A little over nine. Nine and a quarter or so. So we haven't got any globals, but we've got a few good little mini hits here. And we're almost to that next codex rank. I don't know why that little spot is uh, not considered in the event. That's kind of so weird. All right, only three more here. Oh, we left the, left the wave event again as we run to the next mob. All right, on to wave seven. Let's go ahead and heal up while we wait for the wave to start a little bit. And we're super close on that codex, like two, three kills. Oh, they spawned all right on top of me. All right, let the auto pulling begin. And we'll just start knocking them down. Uh, let's see what we got here. Some more dexterity. Yes, please. Let's 
still getting 0.4 ish percent per kill. So only a few hundred for the next rank as well. Yeah, we've got a pretty big swarm on us now, it looks like. Time to heal a little bit. All right, let's knock a few more down. Ooh, a little bit of a skill boost there. Let's see how much. 69%, that's a nice skill boost. Oh, and there I am not paying attention. Distracted by my skill boost, I let him cut me down. Right, we'll try not to let that happen again. Maintain our diligence and whatnot. Although maybe we just make the switch for the last round. You know what? We'll just make the switch. Now we shouldn't have to worry about it. Now we can just focus on pounding away and dropping these guys. All right, only a handful of mole. Man, I kind of got a little tongue-tied there. Only a handful more for this particular wave. And so I believe we're still on wave seven, so there should be one last wave, and then that'll kind of wrap up this event. Again, there's not supposed to be a boss or anything. 
Oh, went unreachable. But we were getting a grip of Citrine and this other stuff that that Dan Barrett. Oh, there's a handful left. Weird little toucan bird with T-Rex arms, but they're like wing flap T-Rex arms. All right, now we're going to run around the, the base here, and they'll run around the other side trying to stay away from us. I think that's how this game works. That I've been playing with these creatures today. All right, one more. Ah, there you are. All right, wave eight, here we come. Oh, there's a small swarming. Almost like a little welcoming party to the wave. Yeah, easy auto pulling. Which you can kind of reasonably expect in any closed event where there's a small area and it's going to spawn a larger amount of mobs.
That was a nice one. Nine pad. Alright, some of these have gone unreachable, it looks like. I think we're starting to thin them out here now. I think I don't think we've seen that crystal barrel crystal yet today. But I did notice this is, that this wave is definitely all male screechers, all eight waves of it. Oh well, we just got all sorts of stuff we weren't getting before: azurite crystal, vanadite crystal, tanzanite crystal. That was just a big dump of random stuff. So obviously I didn't pick the best spot to stand in it for the start of this uh, wave since we've just been auto pull swarmed or maybe it is a good spot. Yeah, we haven't been getting any of that crystal barrel or the tanzanite till this wave. Yeah, we'll have to check out what that stuff is. It says we haven't got it yet. Oh yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. That's that crystal barrel. Oh, that has good markup. And then, how about this tanzanite? Not so much. Oh, I forgot about the Azerite. Where's that at? Oh, and that. So, on the year, yes. Recently, no. So, not much current markup. Or not very much sells. Low demand. Something of that nature.
Same thing with that Azerite. Alright, we are almost through these guys, though, it looks like. And then we'll do the standard run around a little bit. Chasing the last handful. Except my running is not very runny now, because we're overweight and over item count. Sorry, there's only a few more kills to go. Oh, we finally got into the stalkers. I saw prowlers a lot. Alright, looks like that completes the wave event for us, so that's where we're going to wrap up today. I hope that everyone is having an amazing day. Screech your dinner. Stay epic.